Hey Falcons, welcome to the College and Career Corner, where we talk about all things related to your post-graduation opportunities. Today, we're going to talk about seizing college opportunities, including Greek life. College is all about opportunity. Grades are important. Going to class is important. However, if you only go to classes at your college, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities. There are resources, relationships, and professional development opportunities available all throughout your college career. Some opportunities, such as study abroad and some internships, are only available while you're in college. Graduating early was a good thing for me since it let me save some money. But honestly, I regret not taking an additional semester or two to study abroad or take on a great internship. College is a really unique time in life where you have the opportunity to explore new subjects, meet new people, and develop important skills that you can use to set yourself up for success in the future. So here are some things that you may only be able to do in college. First, taking classes in a wide range of subjects. Colleges usually provide you the opportunity to take classes in subjects that you may not have had ha access to in high school. These can sometimes help you discover new interests and passions that you may not have known that you even had. Another big area is participating in research. Colleges often have great research opportunities available to students, and they usually allow them to work alongside professors and graduate students to conduct research in their fields of interest. And if it ends up being published, those students are usually mentioned in empirically reviewed, excellent scientific journals that can go really far for your future, both in grad school and in the professional world. You can also join clubs and organizations. Colleges have a wide range of clubs and organizations that allow you to explore your interests and develop new skills while meeting new people. Greek Life, or fraternities and sororities, are well-known organizations that many students enjoy participating in throughout and after college. Study abroad is another really great opportunity. A lot of colleges offer study abroad programs, and they usually allow you to travel to a different country and immerse yourself in a new culture while earning academic credit. You also have the opportunity to attend special lectures and events. Colleges often bring in guest speakers and host events that are open to students, providing opportunities to learn from some experts in fields that you may not meet in any other capacity. You can also use college to build a network. This is incredibly important. College provides you the opportunity to meet and connect with a diverse group of people who may end up becoming valuable contacts in the future. I still communicate with a lot of my college associates, with a lot of my professors, and they've oftentimes been my references for future jobs and grad school. Overall, college offers a wide range of unique opportunities that can help you grow both personally and professionally. Now, I mentioned Greek life earlier, and I know many of our students have family and friends who join fraternities and sororities. Many of our teachers, faculty, and staff here at Decula were also in fraternities and sororities. Fraternities and sororities are just the organizations that make up Greek life. They're social groups on college and university campuses, and they're typically based around shared values, ideals, and traditions. They provide opportunities for socializing, leadership development, philanthropy, and community service. But let's look at some pros and cons of joining a fraternity or sorority. So first off, brotherhood and sisterhood. Joining a fraternity or sorority can provide a sense of community and belonging on campus. And many members often refer to each other as brothers or sisters. There are also really great leadership opportunities. They'll offer leadership positions within the organization, providing you some excellent skills, not just within your organization on your campus, but also with the national organization if your fraternity or sorority has other locations at other colleges. They're also built around philanthropy. Most fraternities and sororities engage in philanthropic efforts and community service, and that allows you just to give back to your community and make a positive impact. There's also really great social events uh, and parties that provide you with opportunities to meet new people and socialize with other students. And honestly, one of my favorite positives about fraternities and sororities is future networking. Again, many fraternities and sororities are national organizations. You may meet peers in similar career paths later on, or you may meet people who were in your fraternity or sorority in future jobs. If you're a big fan of college football, or other college sports, 
and you ever want to go back to your college or to a college on another campus at another school, go to another place, there's a good chance that that fraternity you are part of in college is also at that other school and you can hang out with them, you can reach out to them. Sometimes they'll even help provide you with housing if they have extra rooms in their fraternity or sorority houses. Now, let's look at some cons. First off, the biggest one is cost. Joining a fraternity or sorority can be expensive and members are typically required to pay dues and other fees. There's also a time commitment. They often require a significant time commitment outside of classes, including attending those meetings, events, and other activities. Now, hazing is something that's technically illegal. You're not allowed to haze new members. Some fraternities and sororities have a history of hazing, and that can include some humiliating, degrading, or dangerous activities. Again, most, if not all, colleges have strict rules when it comes to prohibiting it. But that doesn't mean it doesn't happen a lot of fraternities and sororities have adopted really easy practices that may be like a little silly in nature, but still give that sense of building community through these group activities that everyone has already done. And finally, another con would just be exclusivity. Sometimes they can get a little clicky, and a lot of fraternities and sororities can make you feel a little bit of pressure to conform to what those people that are in the fraternity or sorority are usually like. You may have to adopt certain characteristics, or you may just feel just like a social pressure. We're like, okay, everyone's doing this, so I need to do this, or I need to act this way. Ultimately, though, it's just important to consider all of the pros and cons of joining a fraternity and sorority. I say these pros and cons. This is just a really, really general list. Ultimately, a fraternity and sorority are made of people and different people are in different places. If you have family or friends who have been in fraternities or sororities, talk to them. Get an idea uh, from them about what their experience was like. Would they do it again? Would they recommend it for you? Because that's a lot better way to figure out should you do this, right? If you're concerned or if you're passionate about a specific um, type of philanthropy or community service, join a fraternity or sorority that offers opportunities with those organizations. Finally, if you have any questions for me about getting involved during college, like always, you can book an appointment with me through eClass. Have a great day, and go Falcons!